What is going on? Sean here with Rendered Reality. It's time for the weekly shot of VR Espresso, a condensed version of this week's VR highlights. This week, there is some stuff that I cannot wait to talk about. 2020 has been a disaster of a year, but not when it comes to the world of VR. First up, my Reverb G2 showed up last week and I have been playing it as much as possible. I can honestly say the visuals are the best I have ever seen in VR. Great audio, very comfortable, the controller tracking is really my only complaint and not in the way in which I was originally worried about. When the controllers are in view of the onboard cameras, the tracking works pretty well, even in shooters where you have occlusion between the two controllers. My problem is when the controllers are not clearly seen by the headset, like when your hands are down to your sides. This sometimes causes the controllers to just float off into space. And I've even had a couple times when I would have a hand completely disappear and not come back for what felt like way too long. Hopefully this is something that can be improved through software updates and better software predictions, but we are going to have to wait and see. Team Beef, which consists of two guys named Dr. Beef and Baggy G, are working to bring Doom 3 to the Oculus Quest with some amazing looking results so far. Everything seen here is captured on the Quest 2. The port is based on Beloco Games' Android port that added CPU multi-threading to Doom 3. Dr. Beef added a new multi-view renderer on top of that. Together, both optimizations were enough to speed up rendering by 50% and give the headroom to bring it to standalone VR. Resurrection of Evil DLC will likely be supported in the future, and I for one am really hoping it supports a co-op mod in the future as well. These guys have a long history of amazing ports to VR, like Quake 1, 2, Half-Life, Doom, and Return to Castle Wolfenstein. The best part about it is these guys do this for the fun and excitement of bringing old classics into VR. And you can donate to them to help the cause through the link in the description below. They plan to get this out by the end of the year, but Population 1 has really slowed them down, understandably so. You are going to need Doom 3 on Steam for the core game files, not the BFG edition though, so keep an eye out for that to go on sale. Capcom has suffered a ransomware attack earlier this month causing one terabyte of sensitive information to be stolen. The hackers have released a ton of information, including what we see as Resident Evil 4 Oculus Edition, which is clearly an exclusive deal to bring this title to the Oculus platform. My guess would be that they are bringing it to the Oculus Quest. According to this document, this will happen in April of 2021. Is it time for all of us to give up hope on Resident Evil 7 ever coming to PC VR? Let me know your thoughts. I really believe we've reached a point where we are finally going to see a lot of big name games and franchises making their way into VR, and we have already started to see this come true. The month of December is going to be a big month for VR. Incoming games to include Myst, Warhammer Battle Sister, Medal of Honor Above and Beyond, and the big DLC that we were promised for Pistol Whip, and that is just to name a few. And even before all of that, we get Star Wars Tales from the Galaxy's Edge on November 19th. So much good stuff is happening. And that's it for this week's VR Espresso. Let us know in the comments below what has you hyped to round up the year 2020, and we will catch you next time. Later, everybody.